myself bipin patil assistant professor civil engineering department walchan institute of technology solapur in today's session i am going to deliver a lecture on building components and their functions so these are the learning outcomes so at the end of the session student will be able to describe different components of a building and their functions these are the basic building components there are two types one is superstructure another one is substructure in superstructure these are the components for example dpc damp proof course walls columns beams etc and in substructure flint and foundation is there so first thing what is mean by superstructure and substructure so the portion of the structure or building which is above the ground level we call that superstructure and similarly if it is below the ground level we call that substructure let's observe this picture very carefully this is the cross section of a building components so this is plain cement concrete footing is present here maybe rcc footing maybe wall footing now this is nothing but your plain filling doors this is a lintel chhajja slab this symbol it indicates brick masonry wall then window here slab above that flooring similarly your first floor this is a slab on a top floor parapet wall and coping this is the front elevational or cross section of a building component is there let's we discuss one by one remaining all points first thing is plinth the portion of a substructure above the ground surface up to the surface of the floor immediately above the ground is called as plinth now you just observe this figure so this is your ground level and above this ground level this is nothing but your filler materials so boulders are there murum is there sand is there and above that we have just provided floor so this portion from the ground level to this top portion of a slab this is nothing but your plain so minimum we required the plain height is 45 cm and the function of this plain is to create a base or a platform to the superstructure next one dpc is the dam proof course dam proof course is a horizontal barrier we have provided in between the walls at least the thickness we have just provided here near about 150 mm so the function of this dam proof course is to resist moisture rising through the structure by capillary action so we are just provided to reduce or to nullify the capillary action of moisture we have provided here dam proof course next one column is there now you just observe this picture so this portion that is nothing but your column so vertical member in a building whose primary function is to support a structural load and to transfer it the foundation upper column transport the load to the lower columns so the function of this particular column is to resist a load coming from a beam next one wall is present here so the main function of a wall is to provide a shelter or security so the purpose of the walls in a building are to support a roofs at top portion we have provided the roofs also the floors and ceilings in a load bearing structures and in frame structure we are just considering as a partition walls next one beam is there observe this arrows in this picture these are nothing but your beams a beam is a structural element that primarily resists the loads applied laterally to the beam axis so the load coming from this column load coming from this slab it resists by this beam and from this beam to column and column to foundation we are just transfer it it is horizontal structural member then next one a roof slab flat piece of a concrete put on the walls or columns of a structure that is nothing but your roof slab so you just observe this plain portion this is nothing but your roof slab so g plus 1 2 structure is present here this is nothing but your slab is there and at top portion we have just provided the shelter that is nothing but your roof is there 
so the main function of this particular roof slab is walking surface or it serves as a load bearing member next one lintel is there this is also most interesting part in a building components it is a horizontal support it made up of stone timber steel rcc etc we provided such types of lintels at the top portion of a window or your door so the main function of this lintel is to provide a support above the wall that is nothing but your openings and the windows so above this we just provided the base for your walls next one chhajja is there this is the outer view of your chhajja and this internal structure of this chhajja so it protects against sun rays and rainfall frost etc so this is the outer or external elevation of a chhajja and you just observe this structure so in this structure this is the internal structure cross section is present here so you just observe here this is the external view of your building external cantilever portion of your building that is nothing but your chhajja and the same cantilever portion if we provided inside the wall that is nothing but your loft so to drain out rain water immediately so we just provide here tapeworm nature and easily you can identify easily you can remove the excess water so the material used as i mentioned here one is rcc sometimes we are using here steel materials also according to the cost point of view next when parapet wall is there so at the top portion of a slab we have provided the parapet wall so you just observe here the parapet is a barrier which is a extension of the wall at the edge of the roof so this is the edge of the roof and we have provided here the excess portion or here we just provided the wall it may be glass material it may be steel material it may be your brick masonry walls so we just provided here at the end portion of your slab so now you just observe here at the edge of the roof or terrace balcony walkway we provided such types of parapets the function of this parapet is to bring both utility and safety to a building so observe this picture in this picture i just mentioned the parapet walls and this is the railing next one door and window most interesting part so this portion this picture it indicates door window and this portion it indicates here door so window is defined as the opening in a wall of a building to serve one or more functions like natural light then ventilation is there and the vision is there similarly here the door is to give the access to a building the different parts of the building so you just observe here light and ventilation we are using these both parts and the safety purpose we are just using such types of doors next one staircase there are different types of staircase the pri primary function of your staircase is to provide access from one floor to another one floor so the purpose of staircase is to provide a vertical circulation so any building or any structure it may be so the main purpose to provide a vertical access or you just move from one floor to another one floor we are using such types of staircase so two structures are present one is load bearing structure so structures loads are carried in walls in such types of structures whatever the loads are coming it may be dead load live load it rises by only external walls rcc slab is provided directly on such types of wall or sometimes we have provided ac seats and frame structure that is totally based on the junction of rcc that is nothing but slab beam and columns in this type of structures walls serve just as a partitions okay so the loads coming over this slab to beam beam to column column to footing is there so construction time is less but it is costly as compared to load bearing so my dear friends you just pause this video and you just do one small exercise some questions are present here read it according to the previous discussion so these three questions are present these are the answers regarding such types of previous one questions you just verify it these are the references which i referred to prepare such types of session for you thank you